A new report by the U.S. Surgeon General says taking even one puff of a cigarette can take years off your life. News 4's Dr. Peter Astro has more on this latest eye-opening study about smoking. The first Surgeon General's report about smoking in 1964 showed proof that cigarettes cause cancer. Now the Surgeon General's 30th report tells us how that happens. This report concludes that damage from tobacco smoke is immediate. The chemicals in the, in the tobacco smoke reach your lungs very quickly every time you inhale. Dr. Mike Cummings of Roswell Park reviewed the report before it was released. But this report really focuses on the biological mechanisms by which uh, cigarette use and other forms of tobacco lead to a variety of diseases like cancer, uh, COPD, lung diseases, uh, and heart disease. The report explains more about nicotine addiction. Each time you puff, nicotine is carried to your brain where it stimulates specialized nicotine receptors on nerve cells. That changes the cells and leads to the craving for more nicotine. What this report says new about that uh, is that the earlier you expose your brain to nicotine, uh, the harder it is for you to quit. It also explains the role of cigarettes in causing heart attacks. An exposure to the tobacco smoke quickly damages the blood vessels throughout the body and makes your blood more likely to clot. And that also goes for secondhand smoke. In the incidence of acute myocardial infarction, heart attacks went down as a result of the clean indoor air law. Every puff is doing you damage all over your body. So the cancer is clear. It's never too late to quit. But the sooner you quit, the better. And if you need help quitting, call the New York Quit Line at 1-866-NY-QUITS. You can get free nicotine patches, counseling, and other help that can help you succeed in quitting. Stunning report. What do you think will be happening as a result of this report? Well, you know, the more that we know, the more we understand about something, the more likely we are to be able to respond effectively. The first time the Surgeon General reported that nicotine was addictive, that was followed by new medications to treat the addiction. The secondhand smoke report brought us to clean air laws. And now that we know how smoking damages the body, we might be able to do something to lessen that damage. But bottom line here, though, is don't, don't smoke. even start. Don't That's smoke. Right. All right. right. Thanks so much, doctor.